Now for more on the relief effort currently underway in Gaza is Ambassador Cindy McCain, Executive Director of the U United Nations World Food Program. Ambassador McCain, welcome back to the Sunday show. Uh, you released a statement today making an urgent Thank plea you. for for safe, expanded humanitarian access to Gaza. What are you and your aid workers seeing on the ground? Well, it's a catastrophe inside. Uh, we're unable to get enough food trucks in, and so the, what's occurring on the other side is starvation. There's, a, as you know, a huge lack of water, a lack of fuel. People are in dire straits uh, across the border. And what I'm asking for and pleading for is the ability to get more trucks in in a safe uh, manner and one that's quick and efficient. Uh, we can't wait any longer. These people are going to die. And so, uh, so I would like the world, the, I'm pleading to the world to please help us get our trucks in. And as people can hear the, the, the cars and the horns and the trucks behind you, you're coming to us from Cairo. <laughs> I, you, you've been able to get some of your aid trucks into Gaza from Egypt through the Rafah mm -hmm. crossing. In your meetings with mm -hmm. Egyptian President El Sisi and other officials there, what reasons have they given for not allowing more trucks into Gaza? Well, uh, w you know, we are working with the uh, Egyptian Red Crescent, and uh, we're here to support them. Uh, it's been complicated. It's a, you know, it's a complicated situation. Uh, but the, but what's happening now is, is that they are listening to us, and they are telling us that they're going to help make this uh, a quicker process and one that will be much more efficient, allowing way more trucks in than what we're getting in right now. I had good Once meetings with them. Uh, well, that, that is actually great to hear, Ambassador. Once aid is allowed into Gaza, how are you able to make sure those resources get to where they need to go? Well, we've had an operation in Gaza for many years, and so our people that are on the ground uh, are not only tuned into what's going on, but they know the players. And so, uh, I, you know, in any war zone, I can't tell you that 100 percent of the aid is going to go where it's supposed to go. But uh, with the, the implementation of what our people do, our tracking tracing methods, we have a good chance of making sure that it does get to where it's supposed to go. Mm -hmm. Prime Minister Netanyahu continues to res resist calls from the United States and others for a ceasefire or a humanitarian pause even. Explain why a pause is necessary. Well, what we want is the ability to get in, as I said, in a safe and efficient manner and one that's sustainable. And, and so to be able to do that, we need, we need to have safe roads to go in. We need to have the ability to get across and the ability to move quickly. And so I look to our politicians to please figure this out uh, quickly, as quickly as you can, so that we can get in and help feed these people uh, and make sure that no more women and children starve to death. One of your employees, Ambassador, who lives in Gaza and has and has lost at least seven family members, gave a powerful account of their experience there, saying, quote, airstrikes destroyed the area where we lived. All the infrastructure has collapsed. Instead of the usual smell of grape leaves, we smell death. Ambassador McCain, what must those of us watching this war from far away understand about the impact of what's happening? Well, the, the impact is a human toll uh, on, on every side of this. And our job as humanitarians and, of course, from the World Food Program is to make sure that we can do the best we can to help people help themselves. And we can't do it unless we have access. We can't do it unless we can get the necessary food items in. And, of course, the other agencies that need to get in with, with medicine and water and, and food that would help the small infants, things like that. This all needs to be part of the process, and we're, we're all working together to, to, with the Red Crescent, I might add, to be able to do just that. And one more question for you, Ambassador. Those good conversations you said earlier you're having there in Egypt, mm -hmm. might we see more trucks heading over into Gaza through the Rafah crossing soon, maybe even today? I think so. I'm, I'm hoping so. We, 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 as I said, we've had great meetings. I've had a, a great opportunity to meet the leaders here in Egypt and the ones that are really making the decisions. So I feel very hopeful that we're going to be able to get a lot of trucks in. Ambassador Cindy McCain, executive director of the World Food Program, 
coming to us live from the busy streets of Cairo, Egypt. Thank you very much for coming back to the uh, coming back Thank to the you. Sunday show. <laughs>